Hello Malaysia. This is Kuala Lumpur, the capital city of Malaysia. Here stands a magnificent building, majestic by day and dazzling at night. The Petronas Twin Towers. Also known as the Kuala Lumpur City Center Towers, it is the tallest twin building in the world. They have become the pride of Malaysia and ASEAN, even Asia. These towers are a pair of 88-story skyscrapers standing at 451.9 meters or 1,483 feet. The Petronas Twin Towers are a highlight of the Kuala Lumpur skyline, a key feature of the Kuala Lumpur economy and an international symbol of Malaysia. This is the history of Petronas Twin Towers. The idea of the Petronas Twin Towers was conceived in January 1992 by a group of developers including the government of Malaysia, private investors, and Petronas. The Twin Towers were built to house the headquarters of Petronas, the national petroleum company of Malaysia. The group hired an Argentine-American architecture firm led by the architect Cesar Pelli along with DJ Jericho J.C. Guinto and Dominic Saiboto to plan and design the towers. On 1st January 1992, the project planning for the Petronas Towers started. The planning included rigorous tests and simulations of wind and structural loads on the design. It was built at the former site of the original Selangor Turf Club. It was the tallest structure in Malaysia at the time of its completion. Test bore holes found that the original construction site effectively sat on the edge of a cliff. One half of the site was decayed limestone while the other half was soft rock. The entire site was moved 61 meters or 200 feet to allow the buildings to sit entirely on the soft rock. Because of the depth of the bedrock, the buildings were built on the world's deepest foundations. On 1st March 1993, Excavators began digging down 30 meters below the surface of the site. The work involved moving 500 truckloads of earth every night to dig down 30 meters or 98 feet below the surface. On 1st April 1994, the construction of the superstructure commenced. 104 concrete piles ranging from 60 to 114 meters or about 197 to 374 feet deep were bored into the ground. The concrete rough foundation, comprising 13,200 cubic meters or 470,000 cu feet of concrete, was continuously poured through a period of 54 hours for each tower. The rough is 4.6 meters or 15 feet thick, weighs 35,800 tons, and held the world record for the largest concrete pour until 2007. The foundations were completed within 12 months and required massive amounts of concrete. On 1st January 1996, the fitting out of the interiors with furniture was completed. On 1st March 1996, the checking of the spires of Tower 1 and Tower 2 was completed. On 1st January 1997, the first batch of Petronas personnel moved into the building. On 31st August 1999, the building was officially opened by the Prime Minister of Malaysia, Tun Dr. Mahathir bin Mohammed. Something interesting about the design and structure of the Petronas Twin Towers. The Petronas Twin Tower structural system is a tube-in-tube design system. Architect Fazrul Rahman Khan invented this tube-in-tube -tube system. The Petronas Twin Towers were built primarily in high-strength concrete. The foundation of the tower was constructed using 104 concrete piles. The towers sit on a large concrete craft. The structural system of each tower comprises a 25 meters times 25 meters central core and an ordering of the widely spaced 16 cylindrical super columns. In between, 
the outer tube and the inner tube concrete beams are also used to connect them. In addition, steel beams are also used, however, they are primarily used to support the floor slabs. These 88 floor towers are constructed largely of reinforced concrete with a steel and glass facade designed to resemble motifs found in Islamic art, a reflection of Malaysia's Muslim religion. Another Islamic influence on the design is that the cross-section of the towers is based on a Rab El Hizbi, although with circular sectors aided to meet office space requirements. What is Rab? El Hizbi, also known as the Islamic Star, the Rab El Hizbi is an Islamic symbol. It is in the shape of an octogram, represented as two overlapping squares. It has been found on a number of emblems and flags. Not only that, the circular sectors are similar to the bottom part of the Qutub Minar. Qutub Minar is a minaret and victory tower like. Both towers are intelligent structures built with a system that seamlessly and simultaneously coordinates telecommunications, environment control, power supply, lightning, fire and smoke control, and building security. Each tower is 88 stories high with 5 underground levels of car park and mechanical surfaces. It measures 452 meters in height from ground to tip which and is the equivalent of 1,483 feet. Each tower weighs 300,000 tons, which is equivalent to about 42,857 adult elephants. In total, the towers have 395,000 meter square built-up area with 213,750 meter square free space for use and 186,000 meter square annexes. And then how much does it cost to build the Petronas Twin Towers? The construction of the Petronas Twin Towers took six years and cost the country a fortune of over 6 billion Malaysia ringgit or 1.6 billion US dollars to complete. Yes, 1.6 billion US dollars. When we use the inflation calculator, 1.6 billion US dollars in 1998 will be worth 2.86 billion US dollars in 2023. Built with 899,000 feet square of stainless steel extrusions, the building was surprisingly void of heat and UV rays. In addition to 590,000 feet square of lamination glass, over the surface of the skyscraper which would require two whole months just to clean every single glass panel. The two towers are connected by a double-decker sky bridge. Weighing 750 tons, the double-decker sky bridge acts as the connector between the two towers on level 41 and level 42. Interestingly, the sky bridge is not fully attached to the main building. Engineers deliberately designed the sky bridge this way to give allowance for small movements during high winds and other unpleasant weather. This prevents the bridge from breaking away from the towers. The bridge measures 170 meters or 558 feet above the ground and 58.4 meters or 192 feet long. The Petronas Twin Towers also have an observation deck located at level 86 of both towers. The deck allows visitors to enjoy the spectacular view of the cityscapes from above 370 meters. Visitors will also discover the history of the Twin Towers in detail through digital displays and exhibitions. There are some interesting and notable events that occurred in this building. For instance, on the morning of 1st September 2009, French urban climber Alain Spider-Man Robert, using only his bare hands and feet with no safety devices, scaled to the top of the Tower 2 in just under 2 hours after two previous efforts has ended in the rest. The Petronas Twin Towers were officially designated as the tallest buildings in the world from 1998 to 2003. 
they were surpassed by the 2004 completion of Taipei 101. But the Petronas Twin Towers remain the world's tallest twin skyscrapers and remain the tallest building in Malaysia until 2019, when they were surpassed by the Exchange 106, and then the Exchange 106 were surpassed by Merdeka 118. Now you know. You have a question? 